Hey everybody, Jordan here with the North 40 Fly Shop up in San Point, Idaho, doing a little fly tying tutorial today. Uh, today we're going to be tying up this cool little caddis. Uh, I came up with the name, the Rock and Roll Caddis. Um, I've seen this technique done before uh, throughout the internet and some other uh, forums out there. It's, uh, but this is a way that I've kind of found to do it that works pretty good. Um, it's just a cased caddis, hence the rock and roll. Uh, but what we do is we lead body it to make it really heavy. I take epoxy, like five minute epoxy on top of there, and I just take gravel and sand and dump it over like you're doing glitter in arts and crafts class, and um, it sticks. You put it on a epoxy wheel, and it looks like a super realistic case cast because it is made of, you know, rocks and gravel. Um, so let's get in and tie one. All right, guys, let's jump in and tie one of these. Um, so I'm starting off just a natural bend hook here. This is a uh, size eight. Um, 3x long and then uh, first step I do is I take my five minute epoxy here and dish to mix it in um, I like this epoxy to get a little bit tacky at first so it's not super liquid and thin like right when you first mix it up so what I'll do is I'll just start mixing this up what's nice is with the epoxy wheel and all this you can prep a lot of these if you want to sit down and tie a bunch and make get the most out of your epoxy um, just get a little bit in the dish here, and you gotta you gotta mix this stuff up pretty good. It's two part, obviously. Um, I just take a bodkin and start stirring it up. Um, slower you go, the less bubbles you get in it. This isn't as important, you know. There is bubbles; it's not a big deal. If you're going on the outside of something with epoxy, you want it to look nice. You want no bubbles, but I just mix it up nice and slow. And once I feel it's uh, evenly mixed. I'll just let it hang out there in the dish and kind of start setting up a little bit while I do some other things. Um, got some uh, lead wire here. We're going to get this fly nice and heavy right on the bottom. It's got a gold bead too. I've tied these without the gold bead if you want it to look supernatural, but uh, works just as good with the bead on there and adds some extra weight to get it right down to the bottom. So about there, right in the middle for our uh, lead wire. And then I'm going to attach some thread, and this helps you know, keep your lead wire from moving around. And it's just something else for this epoxy to stick to. Put two thread dams in there, and then we're going to do that. So now my epoxy's had a second to kind of set up here. So I'm going to load some up on the bodkin here. I'm just going to get my thread out here first. Yeah, so done with the thread for now. Let's finish it off. Now we can get this. So now the epoxy is just a slightly goopy, which is just right. So rotary function on the vise. I'm just going to cover this all up with epoxy. Keep adding a little more. This is definitely one of those flies, you know, there's some prep work to it. You know, it takes some time, but it's a really cool pattern. Um, looks cool, and it fishes great. It looks super realistic. Change the size, change the species. You know, this I'm just using classic caddis green here, but you could do October caddis, do whatever. Um, it's got a pretty good base of that on there. So now the fun part, and this is just gravel from a sandbag <laughs> um, in a cup here. You've got a cup below to catch it, and what I do, just while it's on there. And start dumping it on. And start sticking to that epoxy. I gotta keep it spinning to keep it from drooping because the epoxy sags. And then I take smaller stuff, smaller sand, and fill it in. In with the big stuff. And that's it. Uh, that's what it looks like. It looks like a cased caddis. Um, I have one done because obviously this has to go on the wheel to dry. I just want to show you guys that step of how I've been doing that. So take that off of here, put it on the wheel. Okay, and here's one that's done and dried. So the first step here, this one's done, obviously, nice and dried up already. Reattach your thread. I got some caddis green looking dubbing here. And from here on, it's a fairly simple fly. Just a little bit of prep work in the beginning. So we'll take a little bit of dubbing here, get it right up 
two of those little pebbles there. And then we're going to take some uh, black deer belly. You could use pheasant tail fibers. You could do no legs. Um, I think the legs look cool. If we're going to go for a realistic look, might as well do it all. Um, take a little tiny bit. Not much, because we're going to peel off the dead ones, take the, or the broken ones, take the short ones out. So, yeah. Left with just the good ones here. So now, take it into a hair stacker. Take these out. Flip it upside down, put the legs down below. I'll leave them kind of long. Easier to see. I'll just tight right on the bottom there. There we go. So I'm holding this, I'm gonna reach in and get my butt ends out of here. Looks like that. Now we got some caddis legs coming down. Take a little more dubbing to finish it up, cover our work here. Cover up those butt ends. Okay. One more nubbing on there. And there we go. A, kind of a quick little but very realistic case caddis, the rock and roll caddis. So if you guys have any more questions about the techniques or materials here, Feel free to come by the shop um, or visit us online at north40flyshop.com. Uh, of course, on our social media pages, we're on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at North 40 Fly Shop. Thanks for watching.